Hi guys, it's uh, Stu from UK B-Man and I'm doing a little bit of a different video today because today we're uh, out for a little walk with the kids. Say hi boys. Hi. Hi. I, uh, hi. So yeah, basically what we're doing today is we're having a look for a overwintered uh, swarm Feel? nest Feel? who's now settled. Feel? This swarm nest is right behind us. Just in that window by there. Uh, the council hasn't done nothing about it. I don't think they're bothered by it and they're just leaving them there. But just in case they swarm, I'm going to set up a swarm box around this area uh, in order to, to rehome them into a, a proper hive. But I'm going to show you quickly what they look like. So as you can see, right by here, we have a busy nest. And it's just behind the glass. I love you. And behind the boards, in between all that. And they've been there, and they were there last year. I was curious to see if they're still there this year. And they're extremely active. So right now, I'm just having a little look to see where I can stick these hive boxes. I'm only gonna stick one up, and I'm gonna use a uh, nuke box that you use that when you collect them. So, um, oh, I'm trying to remember what the actual material is called, but, uh, uh, it's in the top of the head. I can't think about it right now. But yeah, it's one of those transport boxes that you use. I'm going to stick it up into one of the woods areas and see how that goes. Um, but as you can see, there's a bit of a distance between us and the window. And uh, yeah, so we're basically going to find a good location for it, go back home, get that sorted out. And in a couple of days, I'll get that set up. So let's have a little look and see if we can find any good locations. So it's good to have it up nice and high. And around here, we've got plenty of locations that we can use up in the trees, etc. So I think one of these locations may be an optimum one, but I'm more going up towards this way where I can have it camouflaged up high and see if there's any interest or activity. Now let's go have a look at that nuke box. So basically, one thing that I like to do when it comes to doing hive traps is finding that key ingredient. And that key ingredient to me has to be lemongrass oil. Lemongrass oil and essential oil, don't go for a mixed oil. An essential oil is so similar to the actual replication of the pheromones that the worker bees give off. And that is what attracts the other swarms to your hive trap. I have a little bottle, it cost me a pound off eBay. So that's all you need is something that size. I've already pre-dabbed it. You may see a slight little yellow tinge on that by there. You wipe around say the front entrance oh and it was a corex box that's the word i was looking for earlier wipe around the front and then you place this inside um and that should do it pretty well just by across there so wipe and inside i'm not going to use this one on this one today i'm going to show you when this one is set up in that location and we agree but one that i am going to do is one in the garden and this is just, hey, if mine decide to swarm out, they swarm out. If they don't, great. And if I catch another swarm, then so be it. So literally dabbing around the front of the box, like so, put it across here, dab inside. You're getting that scent all the way across. And then once you're done with that, place it inside your box the very back on the bottom corner and leave it there and then see if you have anything but anyway let's get back to that site location so we can get it set up there and i have now done the swarm box it's all attached and it's how i want it to be it wasn't in the most discreet of locations uh but i had to get some form of height i had to have it close and in the direction of where i wanted it to be but it looks good and uh hopefully Hopefully we get a little bit of, I don't know, result with it. But this is a setup just by here. Um, it's just strapped because obviously there's more weight and it can be a, a bit heavy, obviously, when you collect a big pile of bees. It's hinged into the tree. So the only thing is it would be nice to have a little bit of camouflage, big green box sticking on a tree, popular walkway. Um, however, I don't think I'll be able to uh, get away with that, but hopefully when someone sees it says live bees, then um, hey-ho, they might 
stay away from it. So I'll show you a little bit more of the box now in two seconds and you get to see it from different angles. And uh, hopefully if they do decide to swarm or another swarm comes by, then I can catch them. So, but we'll have a little look. So as you can see, this is how it's all attached. All the way through the front entrance by there. And then obviously inside, you'll be able to see the little cotton wool ball just by there it's a bit hard to see but in the back just in the back you can see i've got a few frames in there as well it's got the lemongrass on it there's the live bees and it's sturdy but like i said it's not really camouflage but i'm hoping from the bottom you can't see there's the building remember there's that by there uh it's protected from the elements it is it's a uh, Corex box so yeah so that's the tree I decided to attach to with my faithful drill um, there it is hidden up there I chose this location because this is a popular spot for bluebells and I can smell that from here now so the lemon scent is there so hopefully the bees will come along and pick that up but uh, it's quite a cool little spot out of the way. Hopefully you won't see it from the footpath, but obviously a few people have seen me, but hey, oh, what can you do in this situation? Let's have a look from the ground. Okay, so it is standing out like a sore thumb. But that's because I know it's there. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see, maybe someone thinks it's a squirrel box or a bird box. Maybe someone thinks it's a bit of junk. <sighs> Should do. We'll see. Good luck. Let's see how this one. But then don't forget the trees have got to obviously uh, blossom. And when they go in full bloom, then obviously you've got <laughs> you've got something else, in, haven't you? But uh, some extra camouflage. It's been a cold May. It's been a wet May. Don't really know what else to say about this May. It's been a terrible May. Normally you're looking at doing a split soon. But I haven't been able to do it. But there's the bees up there. No activity, but I am worried. There's a lot of building activity going on. So I don't know whether anyone's gonna come and take it away. They may even potentially, you know, remove the bees if they're going to do something with this building we'll see stay tuned keep an eye out for that video of catching a swarm this is setting up a swarm don't forget click like subscribe follow it really means a lot hope you enjoyed the video on how to set up a wild swarm trap on how to catch them when you found a beast let's have a look stay tuned peace out